All right, my name is Jacob Doyle. I'm 24. <clears throat> I'm going to be 25, July 25th, so if anybody wants to get me any presents, that's okay. So, my story is I'm an independent professional wrestler, and what that is is like the WWE, so I'm trying to get a job there, much like everybody else on the independents, unless they're dumb. And no, it's not like MMA. And yes, I do like MMA. That's just not what I do. I digress. <laughs> So, as soon as I graduated high school in 2008, I saved up enough money to where me and a buddy of mine, we moved to Pennsylvania. Once we moved to Pennsylvania, found a little uh, place to rent from this kind of crazy old lady. <laughs> Thanks, Linda. And then we went to the Ring of Honor Academy to train. And uh, it, it's easily one of the best schools out there, especially for wrestling. It's one of the biggest wrestling companies in the world. And... Uh, started my journey there so it was a six month course finished loved it loved wrestling i've always loved wrestling my entire life it's always been what i what i wanted ever since i was a kid so you know in pre-first preschool when your teacher goes around the room asks what you want to be and everyone says cop or or firefighter i said pro wrestler you know because i was that cool <laughs> and so now i'm just trying to pursue my dream it's not an easy one, and it's uh, not a common one, that's for sure. And the success rate is not very high, but the way I see it is uh, just kind of, kind of go, kind of got to go for it. You only have one life, so might as well. And uh, through my workouts today, it was just a, a kind of like a quick run through. Doug was a little late, <laughs> so he missed some. <laughs> he missed some of my workout. Uh, not videoed was chin-ups and some barbell rows, reverse grip and, and uh, regular grip. But, uh, and there I do T-bar rows, heavy, as it's easily one of my favorite workouts. Didn't do deadlifts today because a little, little tender in the, in the groin lately. But, so I did T-bar rows, make up for it. Uh, lots, lots of supersets through my workouts and finished with my core, which I do every day. Every day when I get done with my normal routine, I do core and I do balance for my core. But also I do headstands and neck bridges, so that way I can build a strong neck and I don't get my neck broken when I wrestle because that's very common thing. Yes. First are headstands with my hands out. That's how I used to do them. Then I wanted it to be harder, so now I do it with a diamond pump. I used to do it. Pretty much as long as I wanted, and obviously it's easier for me now. So now, these are much much harder. It works my core a lot more. So after each workout, I just stretch out, work on my flexibility. I try to keep from getting injured, but, you know, it's not always the case. Usually whenever I'm doing any stretch, I try to count for like 10 seconds.
all stop a lot of times. When I get done working out and I start doing my stretches, I get it in my head like, oh, shit, I didn't do enough. So I'll go over and start doing a bunch of other dumb back exercises or chest or whatever I'm doing that day. Because I'm crazy.